I want to introduce a new tool we call Seurat, after the great French painter. With this tool, you can take a high-fidelity scene, like the one from PC game, and run it in mobile VR in real time. How does this work? As a developer, you define a volume within which you want the user to move around and view your scene. It takes dozens of images from different parts of this defined volume. And then it automatically generates an entirely new 3D scene that looks identical to the original, but is dramatically simplified. What if you take a scene so complex it can't possibly run in real time, even on the most powerful PC, like something from a movie? One of their goals is to bring you inside of Star Wars. Let's see what they've been able to do with Syrah. Let's roll the video. ILM X Lab's mission is really to create immersive, premium, story-based entertainment experiences. And our goal is for people to step inside the worlds of our stories, and in this case, into the world of Star Wars. When there are events, uh, locations, characters, something that has to be fabricated, they turn to visual effects to create that imagery. The depth of the world that we would like you to step into is as uh, thoughtful, and uh, creative and exacting as anything we might put in our films. This new technology from Google is enabling us to do something we've been trying to find for a while. We take high quality cinematic renders and we can turn them into something that's real time consumable. When XLab was approached by Google, they said that they could take our ILM renders and make them run in real time on the VR phone. Turns out it's true. You can have um, very dense, complex scenes with very sophisticated shading that uh, traditionally can't run in real time on an engine. When I see people in our demo looking at the floor and going on their hands and knees down to expect the curvature of every little bend and twist, I really think we're onto something. Uh, that potentially opens the door to, you know, cinematic realism in VR. So ILM Axe Lab brought the cinema quality world of Rogue One onto our mobile VR headset. I mean, this scene is around 50 million triangles and three gigabytes of textures. Normally, each frame here takes an hour to render offline on a high-performance machine. However, after processing with Seurat, it now takes 13 milliseconds per frame on a mobile GPU.